Hello, have you got a business card? Uh, yeah. There Thank you, go. you so much. It's a backpack. Okay. No, I'm just taking uh, a little bit of footage of everything. Because uh, my friend couldn't make it, so I decided just to show him. Good friend? Yeah. <laughs> also, having extra footage for other little bits and pieces is, is always good. Some B-roll stuff. Yeah, exactly. And then you can do like uh, outtakes and things like that, where somebody says something funny, and you can just like insert this random thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, actually, there is something. There is. Cool. So I'm looking for a, a nice quiver with a three-point um, strap. Mm -hmm. I know it's more common in America, but uh, I really like the idea of having a bit more of a secure thing. Mm. And I'm looking for something either brown or black. We that, don't have that. That can maybe hold um, 10 arrows. And I've got the, the gem trading circular arrows, so they're quite, uh, mm. quite a big head. So we only have the normal style. The normal style thing. Yeah, that's what I looked at with a, with a backpack, which is quite nice. But mm. I like how it, it sort of like, um, it, it's a drawstring, so it's more secure. Yeah. Because we're running around in forest. Nice. Yeah. And well, I mean, literally running. So uh, I, I had to look at some of the other quivers, and it's just like you put the arrows in, and it's just like, ch -ch -ch -ch. yeah, yeah, and it's That'd like gonna they're gonna jump out. Yeah. Mm. I think the not even sneaky, just like staying in the quiver. Yeah, it's not practical, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a skirmisher, so I'm I'm always on the move when I'm uh, doing archery. I don't okay. I don't I'm not a stationary archer. So I think the best fact for that, and if you want what a particular style is to have it made. Yes, that's what I'm thinking of because. Uh, I used to make my own props, I'm a, so I was a cosplayer before, mm -hmm. so uh, making my own props is fine, but it's just like, is there something I can buy? Yeah. <laughs> because I do like the, the craftsmanship of uh, the LARP and the reenactment, but it's like, practically wise, I'll probably just make it myself. Well, you could just buy one that you like and then modify it. Yes, yeah. Uh, I've, I've not seen made. one yet, because um, you know the ones with the tubes in that hold the arrows very tightly? Okay. I'm thinking of getting uh, five of them together. And then uh, getting like a, a, a leather and doing it myself. Yeah. But I, I've never worked with leather, so it's just like one of those things. If you can work with cardboard, you can work with leather. Yeah. It's it, people make it look like it's difficult. It's really not. It's difficult making it look nice. Right. But doing the basics, which making the quiver, pretty pretty simple. And there's okay. lots of YouTube guides and tutorials about doing it. Yeah. And there's lots of leather working people here who can give you hints, like Adam McSkelly and McSkelly. Um, I've sort of wandered around. I haven't really. Yeah. If you ask him, he's a fountain of knowledge when it comes to leather work and stuff. Yeah. But I've also got a friend who's like, uh, he comes from reenactment, and he's basically an expert in my opinion. He's like, he made, he's made his own tent bed that he brings. It's like this rope bed thing that he brings. Nice. Uh, he's he's made his own forge and wooden and shackles, and he just makes everything. And he's, he, he makes me look <laughs> like I've never made anything before. <laughs> and I've made some massive props, you know, like for demonstration props and stuff like that. So stage props. Uh, yeah, I've got a lot more. It's, I think it's mostly because uh, the safety aspect mm. is a lot more, uh, there's a lot more building requirements and like, well, you can't just make something, you have to like look at it and think, is it safe? Mm. And is, is it fit for purpose? Sort of thing, or will it last? Yeah. Uh, Alright, thank you very much. No lovely talk to you, have a lovely convention. I'll be fine with you. Uh, thank you. Mm. Ooh, I do like some of these masks. It's me! <laughs> Hi, sorry, it's on camera, so... <laughs> I didn't even see you there, you were so well blended with all the armour and everything. Hi there. Have you got a business card? Yeah. 
Thank you so much. I must put you from behind him. What's that go-kart in front of his head? That's an interesting <laughs> set of bolts. Oh no, it's a go-kart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, my friend couldn't make it, so I'm just taking like a... Yeah. Getting an idea of what, what things look like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a big axe. <laughs> yeah, my student made it. I don't get on Facebook. Uh, I would love to do foam smithing. Well, we do. We run workshops. Yeah. Yeah, we do. We've got two booked at the end of March. Um, Is that up towards Scotland? Yeah, we're in East Asia. Yes, I, I, I think I replied to you when you said you were doing foam smithing on the yeah. on the, the Larkcon yeah. thing, and I said, oh, we'll, we'll be running some in the autumn as well. If you ever run any towards the the, the more like the middle, like around here. Absolutely interested. It's because our workshops in Scotland. Yeah. But once you're up there, we're only we're only 20 miles from Preston Airport. Yeah. So you know that's like 40 quid for a bike. Yeah. It's just getting up there is so expensive. Yeah. Uh, I don't drive, so it's all train. Yeah. Or... Where do you live? Um, I'm Huntingdon, so right. Peterborough area. Yeah. Um, um, you can get a flight from Stansted. Mm. For less than 50 quid. Too. That's pretty good. To Glasgow. Yeah. yeah that's pretty good. Good. Awesome, okay. Uh, uh, that's I'll the yeah. That's why it's here, because you couldn't get it on the plane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know that. <laughs> so, yeah, we run a workshop where the first workshop is making shields. Yeah. Because you learn all the skills mm. that you will need to make swords and daggers yeah, and the yeah. rest of it. Yeah, shields You're are the thing, that, thing to make. Shields are de most definitely the thing that actually concerns me in terms of how it's made. Um, yeah, we'll be doing some in October sort of November. Okay. Once we get the main season out of the way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank um, you very much. And it's fully catered and we've got accommodation. Awesome. We've got two dorms. So it's all inclusive. So What's our price you're looking at? But, uh, 500 quid. Oh, wow. Well, it comes with a, you, go, you walk away with a toolkit, yeah. um, scalpels, um, glue gun, um, some materials. Yeah. Also a discount voucher to buy materials off the website. Jason Montrose speaks about live rock playing. Awesome. Or a crew, yeah. Or whatever you're going to make, you know. Yeah. So. Awesome, okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Sorry. Thank you. So we look forward to seeing you in Scotland. <laughs> Maybe, because <laughs> that's the same price I can learn to try, so it's like, well, yeah. I need to prioritise so, that, yeah. yeah. But we'll, if, they, if they take off, we'll be running them every year, so. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. If there is ever, any, ever anything that does end up coming to the south end of the country, that's certainly more within my, my uh, the I the, the reason, the main problem with it is, is that all the equipment, yeah. you get access to a lot of plants. We've got a PU sprayer, we've got big ovens for heat molding yes, things. Yeah. You know, they're in the workshop. Yeah. Um, and the reason we've got such a big workshop is because it's in Scotland. Yeah. If we had a similar sized workshop down here, it costs us more. Yeah, probably. So, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's much more cheaper for the end of the yeah. 250,000 square foot factory. Oh, nice. Yeah. I used to work in a warehouse like that. <laughs> never ends. <laughs> yeah, it used to be a clothing factory. And, uh, and then it was derelict and we fixed it up. Of course. So it's, it's ideal, though, but it's just... That definitely sounds like something I want to do. <laughs> there you go. Sorts of words and words. Yeah. Words to drive. Words yeah. Because you can go anywhere. Huh? Yeah. Well, I, I, I ride a motorcycle, but it's the limited. Yeah. It's a bit limited. And, like, yeah. It can be a bit, like, especially this time of year. Yeah. Coming over the Lake District. Yeah. On a motorbike, it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you so much. No worries, mate. Which game are you promoting? Um, Foy, so Fields of Illusion. Alright. So we are the Devon Group. Um, we run, uh, like, it's like a £50 ticket, um, £15 off the first attendance. Yeah. Uh, we're doing a crew thing at the moment, which is um, no cost ticket. Mm -hmm. um, Devon, yeah? Devon, yes. Right. Uh, which is literally the other end of the country. <laughs> well, yeah, it is for us, but then. But you can get a flight to Exeter. Yeah. Yeah, which is cool. I go to Exeter every year for people days. Uh, it's four days. Yeah. You can arrive early on the Thursday for an extra £5. Mm -hmm. um, it, we're kind of like a, a very close-knit community-centric thing, but it's, but it's 60 yeah. to 80 people. Yeah. So it's kind of like the best of a small art yeah. that you forge your own story and things like that. And you know basically everyone mm -hmm. by name. Yeah. And then um, with overarching plot that you can or cannot, yeah. you, you know, you're optional yeah. is into that. It's a trade yeah. at Wyvern's Tales, mm. it's there, it's a it's sort of south coast based. Yeah. Um, and I play at the Money Chronicles. Okay. So it's not like, you know, Devon's yeah. inaccessible. Well, um, I do actually have a card on me. Cool. So would you yeah. care for one? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> 
Ahí va. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm. Ooh, back to Austin. Do you um do you know of any quivers in this style with uh, three point leather? I haven't got any here, but you can move them. Oh. Check the um, oh yeah. He's based in South Wales. He used to be used to be based in our workshop, but. It's really good pick to uh, win this. Right. I doubt I can afford commissions this year because it's it just... You doesn't charge more for commissions no? than to stock items. Oh, right. So it's all costed out based on, you know. Thank you. No worries. And, you know, you can take his card. Mm, uh, uh, ready. Is he a separate card, is it? Yeah. Ah. Hi, hi there. Hi there. So I'm looking for, like, a, a quiver. Like yeah. an old about 10 arrows, like from the Gems Trading Company style. Yeah. Um, that hold them reasonably secure, but yeah. so they're not going to jump out. Yeah. Uh, with a three point secure thing. Right, yeah. 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 And um, I do do a quiver, I actually have brought it with me because it's an order, but I do it like that. Working on the same sort yeah. of principles that it's got a lower strap down so you can secure it when you need it when your belt as well. Awesome. Um, it also comes off so you can hang it on your side if you want. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, it depends how you want the arrows. Do you want the arrows head down or arrows up? Um, for safety, I would prefer the heads up. You prefer the heads up too? Yeah. Them, right? yeah that's yeah. fine. Yeah. It, it, that, it yeah. makes a slower draw and things like that, but, yeah, yeah. but at the end of the day, they're death sticks. It's just all it so. does is affect the size of the quiver. That's yes, all yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah so uh, I've got a, a hip quiver at the moment. It's just a simple strap. Uh, meant for a belt, but it doesn't yeah. really work. I just use it as like a, yeah. a carry thing, yeah. and it has like the two tubes in it, so right. you can carry four arrows really nicely secure. Right, yeah. And I think that's kind of what I like is right. being able to put them in there and know for a fact that they're not going anywhere right, yeah. unless I really get them out. out. Yeah, yeah, I could do them to whatever uh, yeah? you need them to be. Excellent. Yeah, so. Um, so how much price for please? You look at one hundred and fifty for the. Back that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah one hundred and fifty the back when it comes off and it goes onto your belt. Actually, so. I really like that. Okay. Yeah. Um, can I get a card? For yeah, you, you can. Yeah. I keep going over there because <laughs> I can put them in down everywhere and then Thank you. I decided to keep them on me. Yeah, no, I could do that for 150 and because it's all veg tan anyway, so I could dye it to what crew as you like anyway. Cool. So. Excellent. So you, you would want a two tube one, basically. So I've got a two tube one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, ideally, I'd have like a five tube so I can carry 10 hours. Five tubes? Yes. Oh, right, so what's that? Uh, two tube, two hours. Two hours per tube, yeah. Two, yeah, yeah. Sharp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. possibility. So. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe a bit more on it because it's just that thing. But one, That's fine. Right there. Probably about extra 20 quid on top just for yeah. the extra bit of work. They'll cool. be joining all the tubes together, really, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah. So put one in the centre. And, and I can even provide you the measurements of the, the ones that I've got. Yeah, yeah, that's so, how we so, want to so, give so, you the measurements, so, uh, the, the circumference, or yeah. even the diameter of them. Cool, so, excellent. Yeah, Thank I'm you so much. No problem, Thanks. All right, mate. You have a great day. All right, you. All right, cheers. Thank you. <laughs> that's in the yeah. dark crystal. <laughs> Sorry, can I just squeeze past? Thank you. <laughs> you alright? Too bad, I'm very tired though. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I will double check it.
Fall. <laughs> Hello again. Hello. I'm a blacksmith here. I've, I've had sleep deprivation. I've had <laughs> Don't buy a house, don't have kids, don't get dogs and cats. <laughs> No, thank you. I'm wearing teeth, so I can't eat anything. I'm sure it doesn't. How are you doing? Excellent. Oh, oh no, I can't. <laughs> Too much messing around. It is a reduced price. Would, wouldn't, it wouldn't suit me. Oh, I'm sure it would. I don't know how much it is, isn't it? How much? 250 good. <gasps> Too, too rich for my blood. <laughs> Reduced because it was the first one we made and to test it. That's nice. It's like a scale uh, scale leather or something? Or? No, that's all hand carved. Oh, wow. This, yeah. Yeah, I can tell. Cool. And it, uh, it shimmers. It's iridescent. It shimmers mm. in sunlight. Yeah, you can see, see it. In kind of like, uh, no, it's, it's too grandiose for uh, my trash panda. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, trash panda, right? Who else was in it? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe in a few years when he's like king of the camp or something, <laughs> he'll be like, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, bin, bins. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
picturing a look I've got going on for a character. I'm just... Yeah. Oh, we make the whole kit. Oh, that's awesome. mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm.